All right, what do I got left? I've got Harugamo and Summers. We're going to take these games in ranked. Probably, Summers is probably not a great pick for ranked, if I'm honest, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is, you know, this is the American Shimakaze, right? Uh, let's get her camouflage fixed up. Come on. Now, what captain am I running here? What is this garbage? Okay, so I have a destroyer-focused captain here. Not fully focused, because I'm not running speed, and it feels like I should be. That feels like the right way to go. I'm gonna if I'm gonna do this, let's do this all the way. Okay. Quick look at equipment. Yep, 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 this is all fine. So what's my torpedo reload? Nine? Okay, hundred seconds basically straight up. And then flags. Flood, flood, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, these are all fine. All right. And then quick look at... want to get rid of these. Change these up. You. Thank you. There we go. All right. Summers. Who wanted Summers? This is for 1911, and we'll close out night. We'll close out things in a bit with Harugamo for Gate. So Vladeshi and 4BF are talking... Uh, yes, I am in Bronze Black Raptor. So Vladeshi and 4BF are talking about Ramat. And it is possible, likely, maybe likely is the way to put it, that um, the middle-tier light cruisers are better than the high-tier ones in the Pan-Asian line. My reasoning there is a typical mid-tier light cruiser doesn't have as much utility as a typical high-tier one. So in the middle tiers, you're not missing anything, right? The game doesn't expect you to have hydro or radar. Well, hydro maybe, but not radar, right? It's go time. So the middle tier ones likely feel better. But once you get to like eight, like I wanted so much more out of Harbin. Harbin is just not a good ship. Sejong, I feel like her damage potential is way better than that of Harbin. So that's good. But she still doesn't have any of the neat gimmicks or tricks or utility that you want out of a light cruiser, right? So you're giving up all of this, all of this health, all of this survivability. You're basically a two shot to any a two citadel shot to any battleship that wants to fart on you. And in exchange, you get the ability to have a decent amount of damage over time. You don't have Alpha Strike, not with those guns, not against something big. So that just doesn't feel great, right? Now, if you, again, like so many ships that have been coming out lately, they're probably solid in divs, right? You you div one of those with a radar, a radar cruiser or a spotting destroyer or a radar destroyer, they're probably amazing. Like a Pan-Asian cruiser, Pan-Asian destroyer together, that's probably an amazing combo. I bet that, I bet you could, I bet you could wreck a ton of face doing that. Summers and Marceau. Summers on the other team, even. How interesting. We're going to finish capping. Um, they do not have a radar. Um, but I also have to be very, very, very frosty of Intel, of, uh, sorry, Classics Austin. Because that, that will end my game very effectively if I misposition my ship. <clears throat> All three of their battleships down south. That's interesting. Our Harugamo getting melted by a Marceau. Feels kind of awful.
Here's the Austin. Gucci, Gucci. The Schlieffen put his hydro up, saw the torpedoes coming, and is continuing to just chug along. I guess, hopefully, he doesn't sail into them. These guys are absolutely going to take some of these. Two into the Columbo, and it looks like two into the Poison. Feels good, baby. Feels good. You love to see it. And some floods. Somebody's flooding back there. Looks like the Columbo is flooding. Yep, I may flood that guy out. Boy, that'd feel good. Oh, I think he's going to go out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Gentlemen, that is the way we do that. <clears throat> well, we had a whole bunch of a destroyer annihilation up north, but if it's a trade, I'll take it. Now, this is a bit of a gamble shot here. Um, the angle on that poison is absolute garbo. I probably won't hit him, but I wanted to try. Yeah, he's coming in now. Let's see what happens here. I might get the chance here. Yeah, those are going to miss. But I can sit out here and keep this guy lit and just make a general, a right general nuisance of myself. Now, are you going to turn around? Or are you going to push? You're turning around. Okay. Now, those will probably end up being behind you. We still don't know where their Summers is, but we now have a two-ship lead. That feels nice. Nope, not going to land any of those. They're all going to miss. Just a stern of him. Feels bad. Okay, their Summers is way out of position. What I want to do right now is keep this Poison from pushing the gap, because that's what he's probably going to try and do. Looks like he's trying to shoot the Rapids here. He's coming through. I think those are going to be behind him, actually. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this rack. Once he comes through, I want him to settle on a course so I can catch him dead to rights. Actually, these might lead him enough that I'm going to land a couple. Looks like he's slowing down a bit. Maybe. I'm going to catch him, I think, with at least one. Looks like two. Yeah, it's going to be two. Those front two. Or three? Oh, I caught him with three. That was lucky. Wasn't expecting that. Um, I could hunt and trap the Summers, but in my opinion, there's not much point to it. He's so far out of position, I would much rather finish killing this Poison and like basically secure the game. I think this guy's just going to go for the rant. No, he's never going to get there. Schlieff and Torps are already in the water. He's dead. 
he lived through that somehow. Well, let's. Oh, he's flooding, so let's make sure he dies. Okay, good. So now then. Hmm, let's see. I don't think I want to push through the gap, because if I do that, I'm probably going to run into Classic. <laughs> um, I think maybe the play is to go back to mid and come south with the Stalin on the Kerr first. Maybe protect their flank from the Summers. I think now now the play is to go after the Summers. Nope, Terp, you're exactly right. I think now that's the play. I wanted to make sure we killed the Poison. It looks like the Summers has chosen suicide. I guess he just wants to get it over with. Something. Not sure why he did all of that, but that's what he did. No, and that's and and it's a good point, Crunty. But even then, even if that were to occur, I'm not convinced it's a loss. Because we have a cap lead. Um and, you know, <laughs> their Summers has not exactly shown himself to be um quality. <laughs> I still think I'm gonna stumble it around the corner and there's gonna be there's gonna be classic looking at me with a laugh on his face, like I'm ready to assassinate you. Well, oh, speaking of speaking of classic, no, don't ground yourself, you dummy. Yeah, that's what you did. Don't do that. Finish ripping the, finish ripping your hull out and let's get going. There we go. They did kill the Summers and now and now Classic is like, okay, forget it, we're done here. Guy basically saying he thinks Yoshino is the worst ship, worst ship for ranked, and I completely disagree. I had like a, a ten-game win streak in Yoshino a few uh, like last month playing this. So it seems as if summer's okay when uh, the opposing team blunders into your torpedoes. Seems legit. Here, I'll make up for earlier, Classic. There you go. Honestly, it feels like the whole team showed up to play that game. I, I, I can't really argue. Like, everybody's got a decent chunk of XP. Everybody accomplished something. The Harugamo traded. The Schlieffen soaked up a bunch of damage and basically traded, right? Like, it's not too shabby. <laughs> Classic, here's the thing. And and I, you know, we've all said it on this channel a trillion times. Any ship can perform. It's a question, is it's it's a situational it's a situational thing. You won't know until you're in the situation. But any ship in the right hands can perform. It's that simple.